Okay, uh, Challenger uh, uh, Hopper Jet 823, lost both engines, emergency. I'm making an emergency landing. A pilot's chilling final message to air traffic control. Whoever's got the emergency clear to land runway 23, is that Hopper Jet 823? Uh, we're clear to land, but we're not going to make the runway. Uh, we've lost both engines. Moments later, just after 3 this afternoon, the private jet crashed on I-75. Everybody stand by. There's an alert 3 in progress. The Naples Airport Authority tells us the Bombardier Challenger came just short of landing on the runway. Basically two or three minutes before they were scheduled to land. So they were scheduled to land here at about 3.15. So we could say that they were, you know, radioing in on the approach, uh, you know, in those two minutes as they're coming into the runway. She tells us five people were on board, and the sheriff of Collier County says at least two of them died. We don't know the roles of the individuals. We don't have information, uh, personal information about those who walked out of the aircraft. The plane was only using Don Scott Airport to pick up some passengers. The university says it had nothing to do with this flight. We tracked its path Friday. It took off from Fort Lauderdale, then landed in Columbus just before noon and crashed just after three in Naples. It then had plans to go back to Fort Lauderdale. It's owned by a charter jet company called Hoppa Jet. This is a private aircraft. So, um, you know, it's a private aircraft. It had probably two pilots. The aircraft's maker offering its support to those impacted by the tragedy, writing in a statement, quote, Bombardier is deeply saddened by this tragic event, and we extend our sincerest sympathies to all those affected by this accident. It's an unfortunate uh, way to end the week here in, in Naples.